every day we're going to try and try and win. It was full on tactics to the line. Maybe full gas from from the gun. We're in it to win it, so we need to take a risk to make it happen. Mountain biking is best enjoyed with friends in the wilderness, and this is exactly what the Absa Cape Epic encapsulates. It is the most prestigious mountain bike stage race in the world, and not only does it attract Olympic and world champions, but it is a must-do for keen amateurs. The teams of two all complete the carefully chosen unique course through the Western Cape's rugged landscape. This, the 18th edition, has it all. Eight days of flowing single track, incredible vistas, rolling trails and intense racing. The women's category is as competitive as it comes, with stages wins coming from all angles. This year, the racing is tight. The Western Cape is full of diverse terrain and this year's course takes in an incredible cross-section of its fruits. The route changes significantly each year to keep the returning riders on their toes. Lawrenceford Wine Estate is the first location for the race village before transitioning through the Hottentot Holland Mountains to the rugged trails of Grayton. The race then moves through to one of the world's finest mountain biking meccas, Stellenbosch, before the finish line in Val de Vie. This year's course covers 681 kilometers with almost 17,000 vertical meters of climbing. At just 24 kilometers, the prologue is a short, sharp stop to the Absa Cape Epic 2022. It gives the teams a chance to hone their teamwork and adapt to the Western Cape trails. The time will go towards the overall classification and the winners will sport the coveted orange zebra leader's jersey going into stage one. 91 Songo Specialized have had a long history with the Cape Epic and coincidentally ride a bike under the same name. In the women's category, they have six titles and a perfect track record. This year, Haley Batten and Sofia Gomez Villafan take on the challenge. I think we're here and we want to we win the overall and we want to win every stage. We know it's going to be challenging on the, along the way, but we're going for it. And today is the first day to, to give our best and kind of see where everybody's at. We're ready. We're we're, we just want to get racing. Ninety one Songo Specialized cross the line in just over one hour and ten minutes and take fourth on the prologue. Not the start they were hoping for. Simbatex ZA are made up of Ariana Luti and Amy Wakefield. Luti is the most decorated Cape Epic female in the field, with two wins in the mixed and three in the women's category. Wakefield is yet to fulfill her potential at this event. She was just off the podium in 2018 and 21. Yes, the time trial is about pacing. I spoke to my coach about the number and what I need to aim for, and I kind of try to stick to that plan. Keeps it consistent. Um, we're not cross country races, first of all, and second, it's a long, long race. So just race our own race and watch the numbers. Sympatex ZA managed to nudge Specialize off the podium by just four seconds. It's a solid start for the marathon specialists. The All African team of Faces Roller with Candace Lill and Mariska Strauss are always a local crowd favorite. Together, they have a total of 12 epic finishes. Their first together was last year, where they came second. These two South Africans have some unfinished business. Sure, I'm so proud of our effort today. Um, I think we executed exactly what we planned um, and we paced it really well. Um, we wanted to finish strong and we did. Um, obviously everything doesn't go perfectly, but I think we had a fantastic effort out there and our teamwork was amazing, so I'm so proud. Super well done and super proud of how we, how we rode and how we executed. Faces roll across the line in second and have a great start to their 2022 ABSA Cape Epic campaign. One of the unknowns this year is Team BMC Mountain Bike Racing with Cape Epic veteran Robin de Groot and first-timer Pauline ferrand Prevot. De Groot has four podium finishes to her name, but the top step has eluded her thus far. ferrand Prevot is one of cycling's most decorated female riders. She has six world titles and is the only rider to hold them in mountain biking, road and cyclocross simultaneously. You don't want to lose too much time on a prologue, so, but you also don't want to kill yourself. So yeah, just to judge our pace correctly. BMC Racing have a great first day together on the bikes. De Groot and Ferran Prevost cross the line 42 seconds ahead of faces and take the win. 
they will have the honor of wearing the orange leader's jersey for stage one. The Cape Epic is all about teamwork. Each rider brings something different to the partnership. Who is the most competitive? Oh, I think maybe you are a little bit more competitive than me. Pauline is the most competitive. No, for sure Robin is. It really just depends on the day and the where in the stage. I mean, we're, we're both having our moments, for sure. Candice, Foster and Flats, me, Foster on the b -sense. It comes to flying and like just full send. This one kind of goes a little more kamikaze than I do. Pauline I would say Robin, no. <laughs> Who's better at fixing punctures, Mariska? Like, there's no thought. <laughs> I bet Sophia is. Let's hope we don't have to figure that one out. Stage one is notoriously difficult and generally divides the pack from the outset. This year is no exception. The distance is under 100 kilometers, but it has the most climbing of the race this year. The course snakes through the Helderberg Mountains before hitting into the playful Dornier single tracks and onto the saddle climb. They return back to Lawrenceford for the finish. This is known as the Queen Stage. It is stage one, day two of the Absa Cape Epic. Uh, feeling really good for today. So I think pacing is going to be key and nutrition and just managing that heat. I think ride our own race. We obviously don't want to lose time unnecessarily. We'll, we'll make it hard and fight out there, but yeah, we need to be aware that it's 92 Ks and 2,800 meters of climbing. I think we knew that there were going to be some really strong women's teams in this in this year's event. Even on the, the first climb, like the pace was hot and all the way to the top, we had to fight for that single track. And then from then on, it was like full on. Yes, we knew we had to beat the roots and especially the weather here before we could beat any of the competitors and we started very carefully. The others started very fast and that paid off later. In the middle of the race, there was a very hard climb where we were able to overtake everyone and take the lead. They came out of nowhere on that steep climb and we were like, okay, it is, it's game. Simbatex ZA overtake Specialized on the climb and take the lead. They put over a minute into the chases, but disaster strikes. Yes, we were actually doing very well. Unfortunately, I then had a flat tire, but we were able to fix our problem and keep our focus. Specialized take the win. Sympatec did everything they could, but were thwarted by the terrain. Faces struggled today as well, as did BMC in the orange jersey. It is handed over to Specialized as they make the leap from fourth to first. Faces Roller are in the red Africa leader's jersey, and at the sharp end, there are less than three minutes dividing the top three teams, so it's all to play for. Specialized have won every race they have entered in the Cape Epic women's category, so the pressure is palpable for Batten and Gomez Villafan. That's what you come here to do, is to, to seek this challenge and see how, how you can adapt to it and if it's possible, really. Um, so it's actually been incredible, and I think also having one of the most competitive women's fields has also been a blast. I feel like everybody has had maybe an off day where Haley and I have been the most consistent. Like, yeah, we haven't won the most stages, but we keep extending and extending our GC lead and you know, that's really the big picture. I actually like having a more tight race than winning easy and I think that we're really getting to experience that in this epic and it's, you have to pull through mentally and physically every single day. It's not easy, you know, to even get on the podium. I'm loving it and I'm having an absolute blast. I go a little more tactically and she definitely races with her heart, so. <laughs> <laughs> but I need that wisdom, like in this race, it's balanced out, us out a lot, I think. Stage three is a loop out of Grayton, and it has all the key ingredients of a Cape Epic stage. Rolling dual trials and rugged single tracks with puncture-inducing rocky surfaces. It's a roll of the dice and light riding that will win the day. Currently in fourth overall and 10 minutes off the pace, Faces Roller needs a solid day today, as do Simbatec ZA in third, BMC sit in second, and almost six and a half minutes in the lead on 91 Songo Specialized. 
yeah, the race isn't over by any means. Still a long way to go. I think every day we're gonna try and try and win and do our best. I can have any sort of mechanical or physical mishap. So I think, yeah, it's just gaining as much time as possible every day. Yeah, you know, you are fighters, so we always want to win, but uh, yeah, for sure, it's still a long way to go to finish this epic, so you also have to be smart. Private company holdings Marie Rabi and Haley Preen have had a tough race so far, losing 35 minutes on stage one. But today, the South African duo have found form and make their move. They break away from the pack through the Rifia Sonderen Mountains. Specialized faces and BMC are not going to let them get too far ahead. Over the next 20 kilometers, they reel them back into the group. tight technical single track and I happened to be leading it and I kind of started to push the pace and so our team started to drill it. Once the racing started, it was full on tactics to the line, which is really cool to have from women's race. So in the last three Ks, there's a bit of a climb and then some single track and we knew where to be on the front that it would be difficult to pass and we just went all for it. The 101 kilometers boiled down to a positioning game at the head of the race with the all-African team of Faces Roller and 91 Songo Specialized. It's a sprint finish and Specialized just can't make up the gap. They cross the line just two seconds behind. Private client holdings are the surprise of the day, crossing the line in third. We feel elated. I think we didn't expect it at all. I just couldn't believe it. Um, literally until the last like kilometer or two, I wasn't celebrating, and and then it sunk in all. I got really, really happy. <laughs> There's a shift in the GC with BMC dropping to third, faces jumping from fourth to second, and 91 Songo Specialized are now just over 10 minutes in the lead. Faces Roller are having a mixed race so far, but winning stage three is a massive boost. The team spirit is strong in these two. We've had our ups and downs. Um, we've been through quite a few dark patches, um, but also had some triumphant moments, <laughs> as we like today. But today we found our groove nicely. We've actually found in last year's epic and this year that we, as the days goes on, go on, we actually get stronger and stronger and our teamwork is better and better. Well, to me personally, I don't like thinking too far in advance. There's a lot happening and it's a lot to take in and mentally as well, just to focus on what we need to do in the current moment. I think this year has been quite a tactical race um, compared to even last year. So it's closer than it's ever been, I think, in the Cape Epic in the women's racing. And yeah, I think one of my, Mariska and my big strengths is our grit and determination. And we've got so much support. So that really motivates us and fires us on when we go in the race. I've never experienced support like this. Um, it feels like the entire country has come out <laughs> to, to shout for us. Um, even the Hardy does. <laughs> even the Hardy does, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> so no, it's it's been really, really cool. Stage four is a rough, rocky stage with long flowing dual trails and raw natural single tracks. It's a real mountain biker stage that requires full focus to avoid the pitfalls. The weather has turned and the temperature has become manageable as the riders leave the Ilanskloof race village. We've got quite a few climbs um, and some really nice single track. I think Grayton is showing today with all the trails. This morning for sure was like one of those first mornings where I feel like, okay, this is epic again. I asked Pauline if she's ever felt like this and she said, no way, she's never woken up feeling this way. We need to make it happen and we need to make it work for us. So yeah, just need to know where, where to put the hammer down and, and where to save. I think we set a good pace up one of the single tracks just to break up the group. We wanted the roller girls to do some work up that climb. We came through the second water point and then I looked back and we were alone. We had to capitalize on the gap that we had. 
I was needing to manage myself and my energy levels. Pauline obviously has a different engine to me and I just had to hang on to PFP Express. Yeah, it was a really good day for us and uh, yeah, for sure we we will celebrate a, a bit tonight with a drink because it's uh, the third win in Cafe Pic, so it's super nice. In the overall, BMC go from third to second and faces go the other way. Specialized gain another minute and are just over 11 minutes in the lead. BMC go from one extreme to another, either win big or lose big, but they have a higher purpose at this event. It's been an extremely special epic, actually. I think we've just uh, been able to also bring a bit of excitement to the women's racing. I didn't really expect to to win a stage or uh, to finish on the podium of the of the epic. I just wanted to share this moment with uh, Robs and uh, yeah, also to prepare for uh, the upcoming seasons. I think one of the, my nicest uh, week uh, yeah, of my career. I think winning the prologue completely was a surprise. I was really battling um, even the day that Pauline asked me to do Epic with the closure of, um, for my career and uh, I couldn't have dreamed of anything better, I think. Um, we maybe haven't won the race as such, but we came and we brought some colour um, and we danced on our pedals some days and other days uh, we weren't dancing so much. Um, but yeah, it's been extremely special and uh, I'll treasure it for always. Pros and amateurs all ride the same course and share similar trials and tribulations. The goal for most is to claim a finisher's medal and have their names etched in the Book of Legend. Team Absa Stadio are IT professionals and are an inspiration for all. 2018, I decided to, um, to give myself a new challenge. Um, yeah, I bought a bike, um, found a cycling club and the rest is history. Uh, I think once you start mountain biking, you try and find the next adventure. Everyone that has done Epic that I've spoken to um, talks about the unexplainable life-changing experiences it gives, um, it gives them. It's going to be a dream come true, just, not just for me, but to inspire other ladies, you know, that if you actually really dream big, you can achieve it. The riders have been looking forward to stage six. It is the day with the most single track of the event. These trails are not so much built as manicured. Stellenbosch and Yonker Hook trails are world-class and with hair-raising descents like Armageddon, the concentration needs to be on point. Today we're just excited to be in Stellenbosch. The trails here are sick. We're gonna race conservatively. Uh, but yeah, we're trying to knock off another stage win, so uh, we're going to light it up at the end. I think everyone really wanted it today. Um, there was a lot of single tracks to fight for um, and a lot of just like fighting for position all the time. Um, I didn't have a particularly great day, um, but I'm proud of myself how I hung in there. Yeah, it's always special to be at the sharp end of the racing. Um, it was definitely a tough day out, but super enjoyable and really fun racing. We were all gunning for it, we were all sprinting. Um, and then it went the sharp right hand corner into some single track with a sheer drop on the side almost. So it was basically like until you get pushed off the edge, you have to fight. Um, and the other two of them basically just slid in. The Stellenbosch trails do not disappoint. Specialized take advantage of the gap and cross the line in just over four hours. Faces follow 40 seconds later and a happy BMC are 11 minutes behind. The Stage 6 podium reflects the overall today, with 91 Songo specialised in the lead by 16 and a half minutes on Faces in second and BMC in third. The final stage always comes with mixed emotions. For some, it's a relief. For others, they are just getting into the groove. With 537 kilometers in their legs, they are all feeling the pressure. However, this is the final stage and it's the one to win. 
The finish line in Val d'Avie will be packed with screaming fans and champagne to be sprayed. Yeah, final stage for, for the CSK Epic, so looking forward to getting to Val d'Avie, my last one, so I'm going to embrace it and share the moment with Pauline. So I think it will be a very exciting race today. Um, yeah, literally nothing to lose, so I may as well go all in. This final stage of the ABSA Cape Epic is not an easy one with 2,000 meters of climbing. The women's UCI teams all want this win. There's some very tired legs in the main bunch, but it's not long before the four usual suspects split the pack. Lil, Strauss, Batten and Gomez Villafan are all using their last reserves to battle for the finish. All the hard work from Faces Roller in the African jersey has come to fruition towards the end of this year's ABSA Cape Epic and there is nothing that is going to stop them now. They're going to have a good time crossing the line in Volta V with all the fans and support that has followed them through the week. Faces Roller gave it their all. They really wanted this final prestigious stage. The 91 Songo Specialized have had an impressive week, standing on the podium every day except the prologue with three stage wins. Their consistency pays dividends. They cross the line in second and take the overall win of the 2022 ABSA Cape Epic. Coming in third are BMC Racing. It's been a roller coaster for Robin de Groot and European champion Pauline Ferran Prevost. This makes it a total of five podiums with three wins. After a faltering start on the prologue, 91 Songo Specialized dug into the race and turned it on its head. They had four second places and took three wins. America's Haley Batten and Argentinian Sofia Gomez Villafan continue the specialized tradition, winning the seventh in a row in the women's category. BMC had a very mixed race and take third overall. Faces Roller win the All-African title and take second. This year's winners are 91 Songo Specialized, completing the course in just over 33 hours and 41 minutes. It has been a spectacular week of racing with the most competitive women's field of all time. We have seen a new level of tactics employed and new faces on the podium. The ABSA Cape Epic 2022 has had the closest ever finish and is one for the history books. It's been epic for sure. That's epic for you. You can come out of some really dark spaces. It was absolutely amazing.